What is waste? Waste is only waste until it has no further purpose. The waste cycle consists of five processes, which are generation, storage, as in our rubbish bins, collection, transport, and disposal. Situated in the heart of Ziku Play Wetland, Coastal Park is one of the three landfill sites in Cape Town. It is crowded with seagulls scavenging for food, and tractors clearing away mountains of rubble. Like in this picture, where 16 items could have been recycled. Trucks are transporting tons of new waste every day, the figures increasing exponentially. And if the current rate continues, Coastal Park will only last for about 30 years due to the increased landfill space. So we conducted a survey where we questioned over 1,000 people regarding waste and the environment. We first asked, is the city doing enough to conserve the environment? Astonishingly, 82% answered no. Is this a cause for concern? We then asked if you were aware of the locations of Cape Town's landfill sites. Shockingly, only 42% could answer yes. An appalling response, as you should be aware of where your waste is taken. Finally, we asked if you were doing enough to conserve the environment. Astoundingly, 66% answered no. This provides an overwhelming incentive for humans to make an effort to save our planet. Only 1% of plastic bags are recycled each year. Half of the forests on our earth have been burned. 50,000 tons of E or electronic waste is thrown away each year. 80% of our forests have been seriously degraded. 7.2 million tons of food is thrown away each year. And 60 rats worth of waste is thrown away by humans every day. Enough money to feed a child for over a month. But there are solutions. Firstly, non-feasible solutions, such as incineration, which is a highly expensive but effective mechanism in the waste treatment process. A process which is widely used in developed countries such as Norway, Sweden and Switzerland. However, due to South Africa's financial constraints, it is unlikely that this venture will be considered as a short-term solution. Now let's look at our feasible solutions, which includes waste minimization, which aims at reducing the amount of waste entering the landfill sites. This is accomplished by minimizing the amount of waste that we generate. This can be achieved in three ways. Firstly, through recycling ordinary items such as paper, cardboard, tins, cans, polystyrene, glass or plastic bottles. Secondly, you could reuse your products. Take water, for example. Rather than wasting it, use it again for a different purpose. Water from the shower could be used to wash clothes. Thirdly, Try to avoid or reduce the unnecessary items that you purchase. Ask yourself this question. Do I really need to buy this? Waste can only be generated if you have products to waste. An integral part of waste management is education. And we have raised awareness using three social platforms. Firstly, through Facebook. By typing in Project Waste, 
and by liking our page, you can enhance your knowledge of waste by receiving regular facts, inspirational photographs, waste tips, and by contributing to our routine discussions. You could also visit our YouTube channel, which focuses not only on waste, but in other areas such as water and biodiversity in relation to human impact. We also send a text message to various people advertising our Facebook page and encouraging them to support our initiative, ultimately raising awareness of waste management. So, what if we did change our ways? People underestimate the impact of change. What if we recycled more glasses? What if we recycled more newspapers? What if we saved more water? We live like we have four Earths, but we only have one, and we have to protect.